The siege of Taif took place in 630, as the Muslims besieged the city of Taif after their victory in the Battle of Hunayn and Ortas. However, the city did not succumb to the siege. One of their chieftains, Erwa ibn Masud, was absent in Yemen during that siege. Muhammad brought catapults and test judos to use against the fortress, but was unable to penetrate it with the weapon. Battle. Sunni sources state regarding the siege of Taif. Abu Sufyan ibn Harb lost his first eye in the siege of Taif. He told Muhammad of his loss for God to which Muhammad said, Which word you prefer, an eye in heaven or shall I pray to Allah that he brings it back to this Abu Sufyan said he would rather have his eye in heaven. He lost his other eye in the Battle of Yarmouk, blockade of Taif. A few unsuccessful tries were made by Muhammad to break through the gates of Taif. Muhammad may have even used the Roman Testuda formation in this siege, but it was reported that the Taif inhabitants break this siege by dropping hot irons upon the Muslim armies from the city walls. Muhammad allegedly told him that he would burn and cut down the vineyard, as he saw no other way to make the people of Taif surrender. He offered amnesty to those who surrendered themselves to Islam. Only 20 people surrendered and became followers of Muhammad. The siege went on for half a month and Sim soldiers were becoming impatient. Muhammad desired to get the chief of the Banu Hawazan on his side, and promised that his family will be released and all his property given back. If he embraced Islam, he accepted the offer and became a Muslim and aided Muhammad in his blockade of Taif. Malik took their cattle wherever they grazed. Aftermath Although the siege was unsuccessful, Muhammad vowed to return to Taif after the sacred months in which fighting was forbidden were over. During this period, the inhabitants of Taif, the Banu Thaqif, sent a delegation to Mecca, they demanded that Muhammad let them continue to worship their goddess Allah for a period of three years. Muhammad refused the proposal, he would only accept their surrender if they agreed to adopt Islam and let the Muslims destroy their temple. Eventually the Banu Thaqif consented to Muhammad's requests, so they then surrendered and allowed the Muslims into their city to destroy the temple. Participants Abu Sufyan ibn Hab, Tafail ibn Amr, 